Well, a family in Sun City bought a hot tub with a Bluetooth speaker mm. so they could unwind, relieve some of that stress of Sa adulting. Sounds a little bougie, right? <laughs> Instead, their stress shot through the roof. Someone hijacked their peace of mind on your side's Gary Harper is here. What the heck happened? Yeah, this is a weird one. How nice does that sound to have your own hot tub in the backyard? You got your Bluetooth speaker. Very nice. Hook it up to the Great. phone. It's very relaxing. It's supposed to be anyway, mm -hmm. but what if that speaker gets hijacked by somebody? It's a situation that has this family going nuts. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. I've never had a hot tub before. Erica oh, Dracino really says she has a it stressful job, yeah. so she and her family thought so, getting a hot tub would be yeah. perfect to relax in. Yeah, I mean, if I feel it in my body, I'm tense, I, I need to have some kind of, you know, outlet for that. And I love water. Erica and her husband wound up buying this hot tub made by Wella Spa. It includes a Bluetooth speaker so Erica can connect her smartphone and play music. At first, everything was great, but then the hot tub seemed to develop a mind of its own and started blasting weird noises at all times of the day. Erica started recording the unexpected noises, which sometimes was just static. But other times it was music that she didn't listen to, along with movies and sounds of video games. Oh. Sounds like a coin slot. Yeah. Oh, like a game. I mean, like the bling and <laughs> level up sounds, the click, like the ch -ch 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 -ch. I mean, we could sit there and just hear it click, 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 click. As if somebody's texting. Yes. And again, it happens day and night, loud enough to hear from inside her family's home. It's like a bassy noise you hear, because the when the lid's closed, it, the sound kind of bounces off the top. So yeah. it, you hear like a little bassiness, and that's when my son is really good at picking up. I'm like, oh, hey, Dad, the hot tub's going. The ongoing and unexpected noises from their Bluetooth is driving Erica and her family bananas, and they believe the device is being hijacked by someone nearby. That's because their Bluetooth speaker requires a four-digit pin for Erica to connect every time she wants to hear music. She and her family believe whoever is connecting to their hot tub has commandeered that pin and is doing it intentionally. When we told the hot tub dealers, they laughed. They're like, aha, you must have made someone mad. I mean, that's usually most people's response. It's like, you must have made somebody mad, which is not fair to us because we have no idea who it is. Yeah. What's going on? The message is not being delivered. When the mystery person is connected, Erica and her family can't even get on, and booting the hijacker off their system isn't easy. So and I don't think you're really supposed to do this, but this is the only option we have. They have to unplug the breaker, plug it back in, and then immediately enter the pin before the hijacker can. For now, Erica and her husband say they haven't gotten any help from the hot tub's manufacturer, so she reached out to On Your Side for help. They just think we'll go away and be quiet and just get over it. And we don't feel like we should have to because it's an expensive piece of equipment. Well, On Your Side has reached out to the company that makes the hot tub to see what can be done to stop the hijacker from kind of infiltrating on their hot tub. Once we have a solution, I'll certainly let you know. We're also looking for any uh, audio experts or technical experts out there. You and I talked during the story that, you know, can they just change the password? No. It, Why? It is, it, Are you kidding this me? Is gonna, this is going to, listen to this. It's a universal password for that one hot tub. So that lame, hot tub in, 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 in no. every state uses the exact same code and you can't change it. It's the I, same four wow. digit pin. I'm curious to know if other people, right, even in different states have um, had the same issue yep. with that yep. particular we're, company we're, because of that. And we're looking into that. I mean, why would you have a universal code? And even if you did, you know, you should be able to be able to change it if to you want, To change right? it to your own, then right. it's not a passcode. Yeah. That's like passcode 101, bad form. Yes. But I would like to believe that it is maybe somebody who has no idea that they're doing this. Yeah. But let's boot them off the system. Well, I mean, you heard the games. It sounded like Candy Crush. I know. And yeah. text messaging. They're not text trying. Yeah. I would like to hope and believe that that's the case. We hope. But mm. in the meantime, well, they can't use their hot talk. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's nuts. Sounds miserable. I think I'll have an update here real soon. Okay. I like I'll it. Let you that's guys a good know, okay? one. Yeah. Crazy. That's a really good one. Well done.